Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Whiteville, North Carolina, and I'm checking out a 2015 Chrysler 300 at night so we can see what the lights look like. So here in the front, we've got a side marker there, and then we've got your LED accents here in the front, which look really cool. I just have the parking lights on right now just so you can see what it looks like. It is a um, LED accent here. Let's see what this side looks like. And this one does have the HID projector headlights. Look at them right there, they look pretty cool. Then you got that side marker. Let's take a look at the back. Got a side marker there. And then you've got the kind of glowing round tail lights there. And then you got a light around the, the, the license plate. And it looks like you've got some LEDs there in the center. So let's go ahead and turn the headlights on. Shoot, let's go ahead and turn the headlights and fog lights on so we can see what they look like. So now, we've got some bright lights up here. So that's the whole combination, parking lights, headlights, and the fog lights. And the fog lights look like they're LEDs, two separate LED lights there. And these are the, the Bi Xenon HID headlights here. It looks pretty cool. Alright, um, give you an idea of what it looks like there with the low beams and then the high beams. And of course, the fog lights turn off. Can you hear that noise? Those are the, the that's the bifunction. It refocuses the um, refocuses those projector lenses when you put a high beam and low beam. But the the fog lights will turn off when you uh, when you put on your high beams. All right, so I turn the the the, uh, the headlights off there just so you don't blind anybody while I'm doing the rest of the video. Um, all right, so let's do the turn signals. See what that looks like. You've got one there on the on the side mirror, which is a very good safety feature, I think. Then you can see it's right in the center of that C shape. You can see the light flashing there. Now let's take a look at the back. Yeah, it's those LEDs that are flashing in the middle. And uh, which really gets your attention if you're right directly behind it. Let's go here on the side so maybe you can tell. So you can see that it's a bunch of separate LEDs. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's go look in the trunk now. Alright, we've got plenty of light back here. We've got two really bright lights, one there and one there. And uh, we can really see in there good. He's got a net net here, but there's the whole trunk. You can see pretty much everywhere. And uh, so, so like here in the center, I don't have any shadows really. Hardly, I got a little bit of a shadow, but I mean, you've got lights on both sides, so that kind of helps counteract that. Trunk's good. Does have a brake light there, which uh, I don't have. I don't have set up to show you. Um, show you that right now. I don't have anybody to push the brake. So let's take a look on the inside. I know it's not super dark, but I think you can see it's got it has a light right here shining down. So it's kind of illuminating these pockets right here. You also have a like a floor, like a ground puddle light. I think sometimes they're called there. They get underneath the door, so it illuminates the ground. So it's easy to. Uh, you know, so you can kind of watch your step as you're getting in. And uh, let me check on something real fast. All right. 
right, so yeah, I'm not seeing. Doesn't look like this light. Yeah, that's not illuminated there in the back. A little bit surprised about that, but um, and that's the window control, door window control there. So uh, it could be. Let me see something here. Yeah, these are all illuminated here. It might be there because they're yeah, that might be because they're turned off. So I just turn that on and let's see what happens now. Yeah, that's what it was. There's it's illuminated now because they were actually turned off with the front. So when it turns off, they turn that light off. That's pretty cool. Alright, so here's the seats. You can see they've got plenty of light on both seats. Shining from the top or next to that handle there and on that side. And then you've got lights in the front, but um, really well illuminated here in the back. The floorboard is black, um, but you can see in there pretty good. And then you got your heated seats back here, and uh, your USBs and your shade buttons are all uh, backlit illumination. So that's really good. All right, here's the inside of the driver's door and starting here at the bottom of course you got that light there just like the back uh, to where you can see the ground really good getting in and you also have a, a light here um, hopefully it'll focus in a second for your bottle holder and your storage pockets there all these are backlit which is your door lock controls your window controls and your side mirror controls are all backlit you have a little light here behind the the handle your presets for your seats are backlit. So all that's good. This is a very well illuminated vehicle. All your buttons here are backlit. So let me go ahead and hop in. And see what we got in here. Turn the interior lights off. Now I've got some dimmers here so you can kind of see the, the range of, um, of brightness here. Oh, sorry. It goes pretty dark. So pretty bright there. So I'm going to put it right there. So that's kind of that's kind of where I would have it. So looking at the steering wheel, you've got some all backlit buttons here on the steering wheel. You also have your gauges here are well lit with the blue around them, which is pretty cool. And we've got a little bit of a soft light in the floorboard. And I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to turn the night vision on. Just so you can see. Well, it's not really helping. But uh, you, I guess you can see with this mat here. There's a little bit of a soft illumination there on the floorboard. Just so you can kind of see where your feet are. And the same thing on the passenger side. That's pretty cool. Then you got your start button there. All right, check out the glow on the on this clock right here. It has a nice soft glow there. And then there's your screen. And there's all your backlit buttons there. You got a little bit of a backlit light in here where this like storage pocket is. And then this uh, this power supply has a light around the outside of it and kind of inside too. So you can find that pretty easy in the dark. The shifter here. Got a little pocket here with no illumination. Cup holders have a little ambient light around them. And the ambient light is adjustable. There's two wheels here next on the, the dimmers. So I can adjust the ambient light too not just so like say you got and you can adjust the side so it's got some adjustments there on these lights so let's take out the backup camera and put it in reverse see what the backup camera looks like not too bad all right glove compartment does have a light that's pretty good and of course you've got some lights, uh, backlit buttons up here. And these are tap lights by the way, so you can, you know, have extra light here. You got a spotlight, 
and you got like a floodlight and of course um, this isn't a light but this uh, panoramic sunroof will let light in all right let's check out the center console here it's got a power supply in there and that's kind of lit up there just gonna turn on the night vision just so you can get an idea of what I'm looking at because it's kind of dark in there so, oops, sorry <laughs> oh yeah you got some more stuff in there it's all backlit there so you can see what I'm looking at there's the pocket the center console then you got your USB SD and auxiliary inputs plus a power, that power supply there which um, when you open it up it you know it's pretty bright all right all right i think uh that's about it on this particular vehicle it is a well illuminated vehicle it has um looks really nice at nighttime which i'm sure you can tell in the video so if you have any questions or anything uh let me know if you have any suggestions say on a particular vehicle that you might want to see at nighttime let me know as well and uh thanks for watching see you next time